The Sixers have signed him and they'll be waiving Michael Foster Jr. who if he clears waivers will be eligible to play for the Delaware Blue Coats, I believe is the G League affiliate of the Philadelphia 76ers. But let's get you guys caught up on who this man is. Saban Lee. All right. This is a guy who recently. We going? Oh, yeah. So Saban Lee is a guy who's played for several franchises in the NBA so far. And those franchise being. He was actually the 38th pick in the second round back in 2020. He's played for the Pistons for two years. He recently on the Utah Jazz. And his career averages of 43.4% from the field, 26.5% from three, 5.6 points, two and a half assists. I mean, two and a half rebounds, three and a half assists, about a steal a night. But let me tell you about this guy's player profile that I had on him before he came into the NBA. This is a guy who he comes from a pro athlete family. This is his father, Amp Lee. Great name, Amp Lee. Amp Lee, what a name. But Amp Lee over here was a you know running back and a returner in the NFL who won a Super Bowl with the Rams. And Saban Lee grew up in Phoenix and he came up, he was first team all state. Then he committed to Vandy, Vanderbilt. And he played three years there. And he was a guy that he started next to Darius Garland early and as a sophomore, then moved the lead guard once Garland got hurt. And he got a chance to run his own show after Aaron Neesmith got hurt in 2019 and really went off in college. He ended his, you know, his last 15 games in college averaging 22 points a night. So we even seen this guy be that athletically turbocharged athlete that he has, you know, he showed that he's arguably one of the most athletic guards in the NBA. He literally shoots out of a cannon sometimes in a pick and roll and can get downhill like the best of them. There's no, no doubt that Saban Lee it has the ability to leap around the rim. He has this easy bounce off one foot and can just finish above the rim with the best of him. Honestly, he's just a freaky athlete and has worked over the last couple of years on to how to use that athleticism to his advantage by changing pace, such as with an in and out dribble. He's very, very fluid to, with his hips to change direction and He's still working on just adding a few more moves off the bounds, but I don't really have questions about him getting separation. He just does such a great job of breaking down defenses and getting live into the paint. And on top of that, he finishes at the rim and draws a ton of fouls for being a guy who's primarily played off the bench. And I think that's like, I know there's been questions because when he gets swallowed up by a good fender, he's not a great shooter. And it takes him a bit of time to load into a shot as he has a slight hitch at the top of it. Confidence though, you know, which is a part important problem is like he's got he's got great confidence and he's not a, he's not great at in between game or floaters, but you know he's a good backup point guard. It's just he doesn't have consistent strong finish and he has good time at hitting the roller, but I don't think he does a great job at looking outward on driving kicks. Also, he turns the ball over a bit more than you often want. Like he always just kind of goes tunnel vision and doesn't look the pass. Like he's never been a great passer in the NBA, and I think. He does he he's all right at defense, but being super athletic like he is, 6'2, I think he has what a 6'5 wingspan. I want to make sure I got this right. 6'5 wingspan. A guy who's 6'2 with a 6'9 wingspan. He should be way better at defense. Okay. Like you would lead him to be like at least Pat Bev on defense with these crazy tools. But like he's he's a guy who shows real flashes and if he turns it up defensively, he has a shot at being a high level backup point guard. And that's why he's a priority as a as a guy that they wanted to bring in on a two way. So that's where I want to hear your guys' opinions in the comment section. What do you guys think of Sabin and Lee? Did you guys like this pickup? It broke kind of late. Shout out Tim Bomb Temps. I mean Andrea or Janowski was the one who retweeted it. But yeah, it broke kind of late in the day, and not like I was shocked by it, but hey. Was not expecting Saban Lee to be picked up here. And hey, it was definitely interesting to see him get picked up. And that's where I want to hear your guys' thoughts. Were, were you guys expecting Saban Lee to be here? Or were you guys just as shocked as I was? But that's basically it for me, guys. I hope you guys do have a great day. Till next time, guys. Peace. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm gonna go now because I can't.